there, Dr. Dave here. We're all missing messy church at the moment because we can't get together. We're all having to stay at home most of the time. So I thought I'd put some simple science experiments uh, together so that you can have a go at home in your kitchen just using some ordinary things so you can explore the wonder of creation together and the wonder of the Creator too. Tonight's experiment is called Speedy Pepper and it's based on an experiment in the book Messy Church Just Science on page 194. It's one of the optional experiments there. So for this experiment, you need two bowls, doesn't matter what kind of bowls they are, some cotton wool buds, some ordinary washing up liquid, some ground back pepper in a pepper grinder, or you can use pepper from a shaker too, and just some water in a jug. And the first thing we do, we're going to fill up both of these bowls with some water. There we go. And then we take our pepper grinder and we're going to sprinkle some pepper on top of the water. And what do you notice happening? Is the pepper sinking? Well, a few of the heavier bits are, but a lot of the lighter bits are just floating on top of the water. And that's because water likes to stick together. And so at the surface it forms a kind of a sticky layer called surface tension. And the pepper is resting on this kind of sticky surface on the water. So next we're going to take our cotton wool bud and some of our washing up liquid. We're just going to put a little drop of the washing up liquid onto the bud. Not too much, just a little drop. Put the lid back on. And then I'm going to touch the centre of the water with the washing up liquid. And watch what happens. Wow! It rushes away from each other. And let's see if we can do it again. Wow! How many times can we do it? That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So oh, it's kind of run out of steam now. The washing up liquid, well, it pushes the water molecules apart. It weakens what we call the surface tension. And that pushes the pepper to the side of the dish. As the water moves apart from the centre of the bowl, it takes the pepper with it because it drags it along with the surface tension. Let's do that experiment again. But this time, we're going to say a prayer together. We're going to think about how God is with us. So just look at the pepper scattered all over the water. Some of it's close to other bits, some of it's further apart, but it's all scattered together over the water. And we find ourselves close to different types of people, at home to our parents, and our brothers and sisters and our families at school with our friends or in church with the people and there. So think about the people you're close to, who you like spending time with. Just take a moment to say thank you, God. Perhaps you could say thank you, God, for one person. Think about someone who's really special to you, who's close to you. And say with me. Thank you, God, for... But now, we're going to put the washing up liquid on the cotton bud into the bowl again. And the pepper moves further apart. 
at the moment we're having to be apart from people and that's something that makes Jesus sad there's a story in the Bible where Jesus was meeting with his friends and some children and their mothers came to see Jesus and the disciples tried to send the children and the mothers away but Jesus said no let the children come close to me because they're very special to God and at the moment perhaps we feel apart from other people we're having to stay at home away from our fam away from our friends but close to our families and still close to God Perhaps that makes you feel sad that you're away from your friends. But just in this quietness, we tell God about the things that make us sad. But we remember that wherever we are, we are always close to Jesus. So we say thank you Jesus that you are always close to us wherever we are however sad we're feeling you are caring for us you are loving us and you're looking after us Amen Well I hope you enjoyed that experiment Speedy Pepper it was amazing how they rushed apart didn't it, when we put the little drop of washing up liquid into the water. Well, come back again some other time and we'll do another experiment for you. But until then, know that God continues to be with you and that he's always helping you and looking after you. God bless.